Okay, um, we've uh, played a part of a normal game now. There's uh, for the uh, beginners uh, or for anyone who wants to use it a hint and a training key. Um, they don't always uh, propose the best move that you can make. So it's really just a feature for the novice player who really isn't sure what to do. Uh, but for them it can be really useful. So if you say hint, it will just uh, highlight one piece uh, and show uh, where you could uh, put it. Um, okay, I'm getting a flag now. That's because I'm in the tournament uh, levels and I have only limited time to think. But we can ignore that if we want. Uh, so I just press hint again. And uh, so I see the suggested move. I can either uh, do what, what the computer uh, proposes. Like so. But also, let's press hint again. I can completely ignore the suggestion that the computer made and uh, just make an entirely different move. So you see that works uh, just fine as well. Um, then there's also a uh, training uh, function. Uh, if you think that the computer waits too long making a move, then you can just force it to make a move by pressing go. Um, so the training function that is um, uh, kind of uh, resembles the hint key but has a few more uh, options. Uh, don't be fooled though. Training doesn't mean that the computer will teach you chess. Uh, it's just an advanced uh, hint uh, key so to say. So when you press it once it will highlight a piece that you could make a move with. Uh, then if you press go and training again it will show you where to move that uh, piece. Uh, but you can also press the training key again and then it will highlight all the different pieces that you can make a legal move with. So that's really a good feature for the novice player who isn't sure what he or she is allowed uh, to do. Again you can um, completely ignore what the computer says in the training mode and uh, make your own move. But uh, now so Let's uh, do what the computer proposes and take this uh, white pawn. Uh, so we say go again and see where the computer proposes me to put it. So it proposes one move forward. So the computer is on a pretty high level now I think so that's why it takes a bit more time to think. If you're on one of the beginner levels it will uh, uh, respond a bit uh, faster. Okay, so now it uh, does this. So, so I can press training again um, if I want to. Um, um, then I can say go again and training again, and it, so it suggests me to uh, put the bishop from here to here. Um, eventually. Uh, it will stop highlighting those positions, but in any case you can always do something uh, different if you want to. But well, So this was an illegal move because the white king is checked. But so that's basically how that works. You see a hint and training are really useful for the novice players, uh, but it will not teach you how to play chess. Uh, so um, I'll show you one uh, quick and easy way to um, make uh, your own setup. So instead of uh, putting the pieces on the board one by one, you can first also make your entire setup and then after that uh, confirm the position of all the different pieces. Um, so I'll just put some uh, random uh, pieces on the board. Uh, for example, uh, I have this. Um, now I go into the set uh, mode. So I press uh, set. Um, then I clear the board again. Um, so now um, the board has been swept uh, clean in the computer's memory. And now I can make my setup. So I already put all the pieces in the right positions. Um, so I'm starting with white, so um, 
first I confirm the position of the king then the pawn and the queen now I switch um, colors I go to black I uh, confirm the position of the pawn of the horse of the king and of the rook so now um, I have made my setup so now if I want uh, white to start then first I have to switch the color to um, white again so that here in the little rectangle it says white and then I press go I can change that again by um, entering uh, the set mode again uh, now I uh, change the color to black as you see in the LCD and now I press go and now it is black that should make the first move now if I'm not certain if I put all the pieces in the right position I can still use uh, the verify set button again I just press it once then it goes into the verify mode now I can press every square to see if something is on there and what is on there so it indicates the king it's the white king on b5 so that's right here's a pawn here's the white queen, here's a black horse, a black pawn, king and so on. Um, now if I for example thought that I had also put a uh, bishop here um, so I'm um, verifying that and I find that it's empty I can still uh, correct that of course uh, so to do that I press uh, the verify set button once more uh, color says black so now I can introduce uh, the black uh, bishop into the game um, again I verify that and uh, the position is confirmed in the verify mode um, I can also uh, remove uh, pieces again from my position for example I want to uh, remove uh, the white queen right here so I change colors to white I press uh, the queen button right here I press it on the board and now it's gone so I press go again to exit uh, the verify set mode I just verify to see if the queen has really gone so I press verify once and you see it's really not there um, so that all works uh, very well and uh, I hope that's useful uh, for you.